I chose OFTC because I was a stay-at-home mom for 15 years. When I became a single parent, I needed to quickly gain training and education for a real career. My motivation for going back to school was not only to provide for my three sons, but also to set an example for them. Thanks to OFTC, I am well prepared for my career. I'm ready to start my new profession. Your life is about to happen, so get ready at Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Welcome to Dublin today, and today we are going to be talking with Jordan Mickelson about yoga. Uh, well, she's going to give us some things to do in the morning that will help us get ready for the day. Welcome, Jordan. How Hi. are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So I hear that I'm going to have to get on the floor in a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know, I remember one of the first couple shows you did, you said, Colin, I'll do anything. I'm crazy. You know, let's have fun with this. And I was thinking to myself from that moment, oh yeah, we're doing yoga. We're uh, definitely yeah. so going to do gonna yoga. Not only get to see me do <laughs> yoga, but y'all going to get to witness me in yoga pants on film. That does not happen often. Oh, whatever. You know, you're like a hottie toddy. <laughs> we all know it. <laughs> so let's begin. One of the one of the, the best things I've heard uh, is water. I mean, yeah. obviously we all know that water is supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to drink a lot of water every day, but there's actually... Um, a, a, a new thing that's going around. I guess it's been there forever, but I've been reading about it a lot, and that's you should drink water in the mornings. And why? I mean, before you get out of bed, even. Right, right. Well, you know, scientifically, I don't want to say the wrong things of why, but what I can do is tell you what my habits are and what I've seen mm -hmm. change. Um, I know there's tons of research going around about just how much water helps with things like... Um, aging and you know acne or skin or or muscle uh, rehabilitation and things like that and um, I do know the first thing I do in the morning I I'm that person that I sleep with water by my bed at night I I kind of don't care if I'm you know having to get up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night I, if I want water I drink water and I start first thing in the morning because I'm a coffee lover <laughs> so the first thing I do coffee actually dehydrates us um, so if I balance it out with a cup of water before I even have my cup of coffee, then I feel like I'm kind of at like this, you know, middle level of how right. I start. But I do know um, with drinking a lot of water, what there's tons of benefits, and we can kind of talk about those um, that they have proven to be true. And one of them with water, first of all, we should start about what they say the average intake should be for a person. This is based on a 1,900 calorie diet. I would say most Americans probably have consume more, more calories than that, but that let's just assume that, that, that you know that this is what we're talking about. They say 64 ounces of water a day, so you're talking about eight eight ounce cups of water. It's if, really not that daunting. If you drink that much water too, you might keep it down to 1,900 calories. Well, and we'll talk about that. Well, we'll talk about that for sure. But I brought this is this is my average, right? This is I, this stays with me all the time, and you know I this is one liter so you have about 33 ounces of water here if you think about just doubling this mm -hmm. it doesn't seem that daunting right like I could drink this before lunch sure I could drink this after lunch that sounds great all of a sudden it doesn't seem like oh I gotta shovel down more water it just seems like oh that's just one bottle you know it's, it's really great I actually have my little glass bottle I didn't bring it with me today but I keep that with me so that I'm not constantly filtering through you know our plastic water bottles but it's very it's the same you know the same amount of um, ounces that are in it. So it's pretty practical. I feel like it, if you make a task um, seem like it can be tackled and it doesn't feel as extreme, then you'll make it through it. And I think that's where most people struggle when they set a goal with something. They set too high of an expectation or they don't, maybe they don't put it in the right perspective. And so it just seems too hard to do. Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, ugh, I don't really like water. I don't understand that. But, you know, some people are like, uh, I, I really want that Coke at lunch. Or, you know, I really like to have sweet tea with my dinner at night. I mean, we all feel that. But if you would replace that with your water, you're going to see a world of difference. And one is going to be weight loss. Um, a lot of what we consume that's not water is sugary. Most people don't drink their coffee black, which is pretty much the only healthy benefit of drinking coffee is if you drink it black. Um, 
most people consume a ton of soft drinks, soft drinks and soda, which is the number one drink that sells in the U.S. is soda, at, followed by water, which you would think, maybe not sells, but let's say intake, like the number one drink that's, that's right. pop, the most popular drink is soda, next would be water. If we could really work on this movement and replace that number one drink with water, you're going to see the obesity levels in the states go down extremely. Well, from my experience, I used to be a Coke bug. I loved Cokes, um, and I would sip on a Coke all day long. Now, don't get me wrong, I've always loved water. It just seems so easy to grab Coke. And it's um, like a treat. It you is. know, when you're drinking but water, it's you drink it all day long, there's so many things that are bad for It's bad for your health. It's mm -hmm. bad for your teeth. It's bad for your... your um, your it's weight your control, skin. it's bad for your skin. There's so many things that are wrong with it, and it's bad for your pocketbook. I mean, yeah. you can get water free. I mean, if you don't want to buy water, you can get it free out of the spigot. That's it's how like I It's like I said, it. I, I bought my, you know, $20 glass bottle, and I just fill it up with well water every morning because we, let's face it, we have a luxury of doing that. Right. And I don't, it doesn't come out of the pocket. And you if know? you're in the city, they actually have the water bottles that have filters on them. Mm -hmm. So you can actually still, if you don't, care for the way that your water tastes in town. Now, I think Dublin's water tastes fine I drink it at work all the time. Um, but if, if you're a person who, who can d really differentiate between the taste, mm -hmm. get the, the filtered bottle of water. Yeah, you know, I had can, one in New York yeah. when I was living in New York, and that way I could fill up anywhere I would go. I could fill up a bottle of water, and it would be filtered. And that right. way I didn't have to worry about the city water, which can be scary sometimes to think about with how many people live in New York. But well, now, I just simply... Um, I have my coffee in the morning because I have to have coffee, but I'm, I've started drinking the water before I get out of bed. They yeah. said it, it, I read a study and it says that it actually helps your muscles and, and right. things before, if you drink it while you're just like sit up in the bed, drink your little glass of water. When you get up, you won't be as um, sore when you get up. It, things start, motor, it starts pumping through you faster, so you actually feel better when you get out of bed. Well, I believe that, you know, they, it, the, Another truth behind water is that if you are a fitness junkie and you're at the gym a lot and you're working out, a lot of us, we think, oh, we need water after we're done. But the, a really good thing to consider while you're working out is, oh, you have your last rep to do, you have your last bit, and you're, you're exhausted. There's a, there's a legitimate reason for that. As we work out, when we are, we are um, losing water levels in our muscle throughout the workout. I mean, that's as the muscles are building and building and building and we're strengthening and strengthening and strengthening, we're actually breaking the muscle down to rebuild the muscle is what we're doing. And so what happens is we lose a lot of water throughout that process. So if you were to think, like I said, in between that rep or in between that last bit or maybe halfway through, you know, you don't want to down a bunch of water so that you get sick, but you want to throughout your workout, take sips, take sips, sips of water because mm -hmm. you're replenishing what your muscles have lost. So that would make sense in the mornings as well when you wake up. Right. You're replenishing what you know has become still throughout the night, which is what we want when we sleep. We want a smooth, still sleep. We don't want to be our muscles to be super active all night long. But it causes, you know, there's, there's, dis, dis, like, there's levels of discomfort from waking up from that. We're right. sore, we're stiff, we don't feel very good. So it, it makes a lot of sense to me. Water also helps extremely well with digestion and removing toxins from the body. It helps flushes everything out through the kidneys. And that's really important as well, you know, th to have your, you know, uh, all of these levels of toxins being pushed out of your body just by drinking water. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yeah. It helps with digestion by doing that. It helps with skin. If you're removing all of these toxins out of your body, all of the pores uh, that we have in our face are cleared out and all the toxins are removed. And so it can help, it can, it's proven that it can help lower acne as well, which is, and help with complexion. It's pretty so cool. So we're gonna come back and I'm gonna be on, on the yoga, in the yoga position. So we're gonna talk about, what kind of yoga are you gonna do this morning? We, I'm trained in vinyasa yoga, which is a flow, it's thought of as flow, uh, yoga. So mm -hmm. we move one breath to one movement. Um, this morning we're going to be working on a short sequence that is easy to do when you pop up out of the bed in the morning, have your cup of water, get to the mat or the floor, find any surface in your home that feels good. Just create a little space um, so that you're not, you know, having to worry about knocking the lamp over, the dog being in the way. Give yourself five minutes of this when you get up in the morning and you're going to find that you have a lot of energy uh, or more energy throughout the day. Um, you're going to find that your anxiety levels are lowered, which in turn helps you deal with 
the day-to-day -day routine that we have to go through. Um, you're also going to find uh, your hormone levels. Yoga increases oxytocin and serotonin in the body. And this is a really cool proven fact. Those are oxytocin is our love hormone. That's what we call it. And uh, serotonin is our happiness hormone. It's where all the endorphins are released. So if you have, find this practice in the morning, you're going to find that maybe you feel a little bit more like, you know, a sport. Uh, you're like a group sport. You know, everything's great at work that day because maybe you have a little bit more of that love hormone pumping through you. And maybe, you know, you have that your child spills the coffee all over the back seat of the car that was your coffee and you just want to scream. Well, maybe you find that like a little bit of happiness and those endorphins are pumped through your body and you're like, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. And you, and you, because you're releasing endorphins, you feel more attractive. Um, yeah. About you, you feel better about yourself. This is true. So you will exude that to other people. It's true. So, Setting right. up your day for success. That's right. We'll be back in just a minute. Hello and happy new year from the Dublin Ford Lincoln family to yours. I'm Tim Redding Jr. and I'd like to invite you to get into the new with Ford, America's number one selling brand. Also, I want you to come out to the brand new state-of-the-art facility we have here at 2265 Veterans Boulevard. You'll love what we have to offer for sales and service. And on top of great pricing, I want you to know we offer free service loaners to all of our loyal customers. Others call you customers, we call you friends. That's Dublin Ford Lincoln. Welcome back, and we are now on the yoga mat, and if you don't have a yoga mat, like she said, you can do it on any surface that's comfortable for you, but you can get yoga mats anywhere for a really inexpensive price, so um, if you find that this is something you like, you might want to grab one, and it rolls up nice, sticks in a corner, in the closet, whatever. Um, all right, Jordan, take it away. All right, come to the top of your mat. You can face, turn to your left. There you go. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh. <laughs> no laughing. There's no judgment in <laughs> yoga. That's one of the most amazing things about it. So inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling, palms to touch, gaze slightly up. So gaze slightly up at your palms, yeah. Exhale, fold forward, bring the hands to the mat. Keep a slight bend in your knee. Remember, this is the morning. We want to be gentle. We want to love our body. Inhale, extend the spine and look up. So find a flat back. If your hands don't make it to the floor like Rocky's here, we're going to take them to the shin, which is great. This is that was the perfect thing to do. And we want to really work on finding the extension in our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Exhale, fold forward. Place the hands on the mat. With the knees bent, step the right foot back and the left foot back to a plank. Very good. And push the hips up and back, feet hip width distance apart to down dog. There you go, yeah. Always make the minor adjustments. That's very, very good. Gaze at your navel. So we want to work on the, the pelvis being tilted here. So if we find an, a bend in our knee, this is great. It's more about finding this lift and keeping the back straight. It's also about making sure we're not crunching our neck. And we want to find an external rotation in the elbows. Very nice, very nice. And you want to take about five breaths here. I think we're almost there. So. Inhale, raise the left leg high, and step the foot forward between the hands. Place the back knee down and help the knee forward. There you go. So we just want to make sure that whatever we do in our low lunge, that our knee is not protruding over the ankle. We want to keep it a direct 90 degree. So you, that's pretty good. You can probably push back a little bit. There you go. Inhale the, let's see, where are you? Inhale the left arm up. We're finding a little bit, we're starting on a back bend here. This is really nice to help open everything up in the mornings. When we sleep at night, you're going to hate me talking through this, but when we sleep at night, we find that most people sleep in a fetal position. Right, uh, left arm down. Bring the right arm up. Gaze at the palm, very good. When we sleep in this fetal position, think about it. We're just, everything is crunched all night. What do we do when we go to work? We sit at a desk. What do we do when we're chasing the kids? We're bent forward. Bring the arm down. Step the left foot back. Mm -hmm. Sit back into a child's pose. So it's really nice. Take a few breaths here. It's really nice in the mornings to find the opening in the spine. We're just kind of relieving a little bit. Come to tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly. Extend the shoulders together. Gaze up. This is called cow. 
On the exhale, we want to round the spine, gaze the, the, the gaze is at the navel. Mm -hmm. and this is cat. So if we start with a few of these in the morning, take a few on your own pace, inhale. If we start with a few of these in the morning, we're really just warming up the spine, exhale. Inhale, I promise you this will be your favorite thing that you do in the morning. And exhale, very nice. Come to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes under, push back to down dog. Lift the hips up high, very good. Feet hips width distance apart. Nice bend in the, in the knees. Now if you, if you find that this feels good, we do want to start working on pushing the, the heels down into the ground and straightening the knees eventually, but we're not going to do that because we're working on a very specific practice. This is morning. Mm -hmm. Inhale the right leg high. Step the right foot forward, lower the back knee to the ground and help the foot so that we find that 90 degree with the ankle under the knee. Nice job. Inhale the right arm up, gaze at the fingertips. So we want to find that we're not crunching in our low back. We find extension and we find rotation. Inhale, exhale lower. Inhale the left arm up. Inhale, exhale, lower the arm down. S take the right foot back, sit back to child's pose, and have a breather here. Inhale, exhale, one. Really ground down into the hands. Find energy pulsating through your fingertips and shooting back through your hips. Come to tabletop. Inhale, drop the, uh, arch the spine. Push the shoulder blades back and look up. Cat. Exhale, round the spine. Gaze at the belly. Try the other way. There you go. Inhale, shoulder blades to touch, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Really find that extension there. You're going to feel it all the way down the spine. Once again, very nice. And inhale, exhale. Yep. And come to a neutral spine. Tuck the toes. Press back to down dog. Take two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Come forward to your plank. You may have to adjust your arms here. We want our shoulders to be directly above our wrist. Good job. Very nice. And lower the knees. Mm -hmm. Lower the forearms down to the ground. Try and scoot your knees back just a touch. There you go, and we hold our plank. You can hold a few breaths. We want to work on our core in the morning too because ultimately that's strengthening our spine. Mm -hmm. And you can lower all the way down to the ground. Very good. Place the palms on the ground. Push up to a low, we call this a low cobra. Keeping the hips on the ground. We want to make sure that we don't crunch in the shoulders. We really push our shoulder blades into each other. Put a, little, put a little bend in your elbow. Yeah, we don't want to fully extend our elbows too much and find hyperextension. Very good. So we'll take a few breaths here. Once again, we're now into our second or third back bend of the sequence. So you're really going to start finding that you have more uh, opening the, the longer you go into this, which is good. You can lower down to your stomach. Push back to a child's pose. Very good. Rock over to one side and extend your legs out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Come to sit, push deep into the floor, straighten the legs, flex the feet. Bring your, bring your wrist a little bit closer to your hips so that we, there you go, so that you find you really have to push down into the ground. Once again, we're really finding energy shooting out everywhere. This is great. 
Bring your arms up, palms up, and lower slowly your body. Uh, <laughs> arms uh, up. That's easy. Yeah, you're like, I like this part. And lower slowly. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Bring the hands down to the mat. Bring your knees up uh, with your the soles of your feet touching the floor. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a few more core exercises here. So what, what we want to do is bring the shoulders off of the mat. Lift up into a crunch, you know. <laughs> Palms face down, and we're going to take a deep inhale and short staccato breath out. <laughs> and lower. And we'll try this again, this time with the arms off the mat. So inhale, shoulders off, neck, yep, arms off, and then we're going to pulse down. So we're making just a little bit more of an advancement here. Deep inhale, exhale, short breath. <laughs> and lower. Good job. On your inhale, lift your hips high. Sorry, we want to bring the heels a little bit closer in to the buttocks there. There you go. Inhale, lift the hips high and clasp your fingers underneath your, your back and really push rolling one shoulder under the body and the other shoulder under the body into our bridge. Good job. Inhale, exhale one, Inhale, exhale two. It really feels good when you get a good assist in this in the morning. <laughs> Inhale, exhale three. Unclasp your hands and lower one, one vertebrae at a time down until you have a full spine on the floor. Bring your knees up. Grab for them with your hands, just for your knees, your kneecaps. And we want to extend the knees out straight. So we just want to let the legs dangle here. This causes for a straight spine along the mat in comparison to our, an arch uh, where we're pulling, hugging our knees in, or where some people have a natural little arch in the back. It also helps alleviate that as well. So we just want a neutral spine on the floor. Maybe uh, swivel your knees to the left a little bit, maybe to the right. So find little circles. Yeah, massaging out the lower back. Now go the other way. Very good. Now you can lower your feet all the way to the floor. Arms by your side, palms up, close your eyes, and take 10 full breaths here on your own. And this is a great way to start the morning. Most people would be like, well, this is going to put me to sleep. But you'll be surprised at how much energy you would actually have at this point. Uh, and this just allows the body to recoup. It allows you, your mind to settle for you to really focus on your breath and for you to be able to jump up after this and have a great start of your day. How do you feel? I feel good. We're going to go to commercial. <laughs> we'll be back in just a second. Growth. It's what we all want. It means doing what it takes, getting up every morning and making it happen. And we couldn't agree more. Because your success is our success. At Morris Bank, we're banking on you. Hi, we're back and I am off the floor. <laughs> Still no shoes, but you know, that's the wonderful thing about yoga is that you don't have to wear shoes. One of the best parts. <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my favorite part because, you know, I don't like shoes. Um, now, Jordan, I can tell that just just doing this small, this, this quick sequence, yeah. my back feels better. I feel like I want to sit up straighter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel um, loose, you know, I just, my body feels better. And I, obviously, if you do this on a regular basis, you, it would be even better. Oh, well, you know, one of the interesting things, another statistic for you, 90% of people who work out regularly, and that's uh, being considered three or more times a week, are morning practitioners. And I think we've kind of touched on some of the, the facts of why that may be a possibility, but one of maybe the most literal translations of why this is so beneficial in the morning is because life doesn't get in the way. 
you set your alarm, you get up, you just incorporate it into your morning routine. You don't need a full hour, maybe 10 minutes, maybe over time you're like, oh, I really like this stuff. I want to do 20 minutes in the morning. Maybe you work on meditation in the morning. Uh, now you have a 30 minute practice. Um, maybe some mornings you only have five minutes and you just want to get some cat and cows just to get the spine loosened up. It's still a practice. And if you do this, then you're, you're going to find that you're not going throughout the day where there's just one more thing that always needs to be done. Oh, I can't, I can't do this because I didn't lay the chicken out and now I have to go home and make sure that dinner's ready for the kids, you know, so I'll just work out tomorrow. Right. Or, oh, I can't do this because today, you know, so-and-so has their book contest that we need to go and make sure that we're super supportive. You know, there's always something. Got stuck at work. Got stuck at work. Um, the kid's sick. There's always something. You know, right. if you, I feel like, I know from a personal from a personal viewpoint, when I started practicing in the morning, that's when the consistency was super, um, it's strong. Like you did, I noticed how easy it was for me to actually wake up, how much better at night I was sleeping. Um, it, it really, I can't stress it enough of how important a morning practice is. Well, I'm a morning person, so me I too. tend to, <laughs> when, when I'm in an exercise routine, I tend to do better getting up in the morning, yeah. going and working out, and then go into work because you never know what's going to happen at, at, at your job. You never know what's going to happen with the kids. Let's say, you know, an hour after they get to school, they get sick and you have to go pick them up. Um, also, if you have kids at home that, that aren't in school yet or during the summertime, you can get up and do this before the kids get out of bed. Um, if you have one that still naps, you can do it during nap time. There's great workouts. Um, luckily, we have the World Wide Web that can help us for anything we have questions and there are great workouts that you can do with baby that you could every morning baby's awake and you guys are playing well every five minutes or so maybe you throw the baby up in the air and you work on a few crunches or maybe you know you work on squatting with the baby or you know you stretch while the baby's in the floor doing tummy time you're doing tummy time too you know right. there's there's lots of things that you can do. You go um, down and give the baby a kiss and come back up. Exactly. <laughs> there's, there's just, it's really, and it's really fun watching like newborn babies and mamas doing yoga. It's one of the coolest things you'll ever see. Well, I know that you really enjoyed the, the prenatal and the, and the postnatal workouts. Yeah, because definitely. Because it, it was so much different. It's just inspiring. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, what other advice do you have for us? I, I know if, if you want to, um, get more involved in yoga. Jordan actually is going to be teaching That's right. around Dublin. That's right. I, um, I will be teaching two classes a week at Fairview. Um, so if you're interested in taking a group class, which are always a lot of fun and we really increase those, you know, um, those levels, those love hormones, we get those really going and, and uh, it's really nice in a group setting. Some people really like that. You can come see me over at Fairview classes, uh, you can check the schedule, they're constantly changing, so that's um, really, really great and helps with flexibility, scheduling, stuff like that, it's really awesome. Um, also, I one last bit of advice I'd have is I, I highly suggest um, coming to class or maybe scheduling a private, which I do as well, and the reason is because alignment is so key, and everything we're doing in yoga is preventative, uh, it's, it, it's also restorative. You know, you could look at something we're doing and say, oh, I can do that, and then do the pose and say you're doing, you're tweaking one thing just slightly wrong. Um, I was in a program with a girl who, in a down dog, and she'd been practicing yoga for 10 years. It's one of the most standard poses and common poses you do throughout every practice, uh, your yoga practice, almost daily she was doing this, and didn't realize that she slightly had one, one arm a little bit extended more than the other and what was happening was over time she was actually it was causing shoulder um, and it, 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 exactly it was, she had unbalanced she was having this unbalanced feeling and which was causing a lot of stress and it was taking on into her daily life so then she was sitting at the computer and then she was walking around and then she had her bag constantly on that shoulder and all from just a little minor adjustment so we really want to learn proper alignment we want to learn the exact position and why we do what we do the benefits um, we want to know you know just as somebody wants to advance in yoga we also need to know what to do on those days that our body's not giving in and our body's like, you know what, that's not for me today. Well, what are, what are some proper adjustments that we can make for, that give us the same benefits for the pose, but in turn, don't, 
it, it won't um, over, jeopardize right. or overextend or anything or, or really just hurt the integrity of the posture. So it's really, I highly suggest really coming to take a class or, or private or, or study online. You know, take from, download something online where you can watch classes online just so that you can integrate this into your daily, daily routine. If you have an Apple phone, or pretty much any smartphone nowadays, or if you have, I know that they have it on iPads, they probably have it on, on Kindles and all, also. There are, there are yoga apps, and they actually have beginning, and then they go to intermediate, and you can um, create your own flow in the yoga, yoga as you get better at it, but it, they will talk you through it too. So if you're, if you're not sure you're ready to do a private, or you're not sure you're ready to do a class with other people, I, I do, recommend mm. th these yoga apps and stuff they're really good um, and they will keep you from from doing something that might strain you later um, also if you don't, if you don't feel good that morning I know I have migraines extremely bad so sometimes I wake up and I have a migraine in the morning and I can't I don't want to get out of bed because I hurt you could do the breathing exercises mm -hmm. that that they that they show you and, and that Jordan went through and you do the deep breathing exercises and you'd be surprised how much better you'll feel. I, I, I would love to tell you it gets rid of a migraine. It doesn't. But it does help me relax so that I can go back, um, you know, get back in, in, in a sleep that will ease off the migraine. Um, sometimes if it's a slight headache, I can get up in the morning and do these stretches and I find out that it was actually just stress mm -hmm. from, where, from I had, the way you where I had slept like this all night long. Well, the unique thing about a private is that we can actually customize the sequence to what it is that you're looking to gain out of yoga. And I think that's the ultimate um, experience. It, I, you know, we're trying to spread this so that it's integrated into people's daily lives. It's not about me as a teacher. You know, I'm a constant student. This is a journey that I'm on just as well as the next person. Um, and it, it's a lifelong practice that if you can start, it's just starting. You just got to start once, and I guarantee you, you'll be hooked on it. It's just, uh, I mean, you felt it. You said yourself, you already feel a little looser. Exactly. It's just, it's, it's very, very intriguing what yoga can do for the body. All right. Well, um, I appreciate Jordan being here today, and Thank she's going to join me again throughout the, the, uh, next month and we're going to learn a nighttime sequence that you can do before you go to bed which will be a, a extremely I, I do this one and it, it helps me a lot it helps me relax to sleep um, don't forget we have our artist of the week is Leon and it is a female it's L-E-O-N check her out on the inter, 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 internet <laughs> I was gonna say the <laughs> wide world internet um, you can check her out on YouTube uh, I think she's on Reverb Nation. I know that if you just Google her name, she comes up. She's a blonde-headed girl, so you'll know you've got the right one. And she's from Stockholm. You'll love her. Don't forget all the great St. Patrick's festivities going on this week. You want to be a part of those. Um, we appreciate you being here. And I think today, uh, for my last little quote of the day, we're going to go with something very simple. You know, just when things are going really hard and it's stressful and you've got so much stuff going in your life, Take your time and just breathe. Y'all have a great day.